Welcome to this edition of Fabric Spotlight. Today we will be discussing gauze fabric. If you already know how to do my sew alongs in videos, and if you'll be kind enough to watch at least one ad, should it appear, which enables me to keep bringing you free content, feel free to skip ahead to go straight to the pattern spotlight. Skip ahead to the 3 minute 25 second mark. Here's a little bit about how I do my Sew With Me Sew Alongs. For techniques, I'm going to put it on the website and I will reference it in the Sew Along itself. So for example, we just did, we're working on a pair of pants that has a fly front. So when we get to that portion in the Sew Along, I'll do a little bit of it, you know, and in instructions in the so long itself but then i'm going to refer you over to the website to go ahead and look at that video that particular video look it over you know um study it do your own sample if you want because you know i'm big on that technique binder so go ahead and you know and do that and then once you get a good hang of um what that technique is, then come back onto the, the sew along itself and do that particular technique with the sew along. So that way we both kind of benefit. Um, you still get the instruction of the actual sew along step by step of how to do a particular thing. Um, but I, it's less editing on my part because, uh, like I said, I'll mention it in the sew along itself, but then I'll refer you over to the website to actually find that particular technique um, and go ahead, review it, look at it. Um, and then once you master it or enough to where even so long, you know, at the same time and, and install it in that particular so long that you're, that you're doing at that time. Um, so hopefully that will be okay for, for you. Cause I think it's, a I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, I love to upload the videos. I love to share my knowledge. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you guys love to get free content. So in order for me to keep uploading, uh, free content, I just need you to do some simple things for me. Some very simple things. The first thing is just to hit the subscribe button. So just make sure that you hit that. Um, so you're subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell. So when I upload a new video, you don't miss out and you get to see it. And then also if, if there's an ad, um, on my videos, they're typically anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe up to two minutes. Um, just go ahead and either watch it or do something else you want to do in those, uh, in those, um, in that particular time that that ad is running. So use the restroom, go get something to drink or something like that. Cause that way, if you let that ad run, um, I benefit from YouTube and that way I can still keep creating content and uploading it for free. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of that boring stuff. Back to the sew along. Please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks again and keep on watching. Let's look at some characteristics of gauze. You see I'm laying it against the blue background and you really can't see the blue underneath. Um, and that's probably because of the type of pattern that I have. It's not C3, so this one is opaque. But if you have more of a single color, it'll probably be semi-sheer. Okay, so now we are looking at the lengthwise grain. I'm showing you the salvage edge and I'm folding it over here. And then I'll count out four squares. And let's see how much. It's about zero to a quarter inch of a stretch. So not very much at all. I would basically consider that a zero. <laughs> uh, no stretch on the lengthwise grain. Now we're going to do the crosswise grain, which goes across your body. And this is perpendicular to the salvage. So I'm showing you the salvage. That's perpendicular line. Okay, so I will fold it again over. And then I will count out four, each square being 25% if you're wondering. And that goes to about a quarter inch to a half an inch. Um, so I would say that's about a quarter inch uh, give. So again, basically nothing. 
Uh, it's 100% cotton, so that's probably one of the reasons why. Um, and I'm just showing you here that this is how I um, surge my cut ends, or I, I surge my cut ends um, before I pre-wash it to help so it doesn't unravel. Now we're moving on to the drape. See, I hold it up and let it go. Um, and if it falls, basically pile up on itself, it has a great drape. As you see, <laughs> it's not falling on itself it's, at all. It's falling all but on itself. Um, so the drape, um, you know, it, it doesn't have a very good drape. Or I would basically say no drape. Okay. Um, next is translucent. Now, typically, gauze fabric is translucent, meaning you can see light through it. And again, I think it's because of the type of pattern that's on this gauze. It's checkered. It's kind of hiding it. Um, you can vaguely see my hand. Um, but this is translucent. Um, if I had more light or shiny more, like right there, you can kind of see my hand. Um, if I had more light... Um, on it, you can definitely see that it's translucent. But like I said, a um, solid color, you would definitely see that it's translucent. So this is showing you um, if it falls close to the body or away from the body. So my arm is the body. And um, it doesn't fall directly to the body, um, but it does fall toward the body. So I would say semi um falls away from the body and this is me just showing you the texture and this is just me showing you the right and wrong sides of the fabric okay that they basically look the same on both sides there's typically no difference and I'll bring it up closer so you can see it you also get another look at the texture um, of the fabric all right, so let's go in how to sew with this gauze fabric. All right, so let me just give you a brief description of um, what gauze fabric is. It's typically made with cotton. It's lightweight. It's breathable. It has a loose open weave. And it is translucent. I'll read it again since my dog is barking. And I'm outside. Um, it's cotton, it's lightweight, it's breathable, it has a loose open weave, and it is typically translucent, okay? So, how do you sew with uh, gauze fabric? What needle to use? You want to use a new universal uh, needle, sizes 70, 10, or you can even use an 80, 12. So, between a 70, 10 or 80, 12 because this typically is a lightweight fabric, okay? The thread is 100% polyester. You wanna do that, so use that. Uh, the machine stitch settings, uh, you wanna use a slightly longer stitch length. Remember your regular stitch length is a 2.5. Uh, with gauze, you wanna use between a 2.8 and a three stitch, stitch length, okay? A walking foot, if you have it, will be lovely. Just go ahead and use it. It'll help the fabric feed through because it is a textured type fabric. It'll grip the top and the bottom. Um, the feed dogs will grip the bottom. Your walking foot will grip the top and just help to um, feed your fabric through. So a walking foot is recommended. Okay. Pre-treating your fabric and, uh, or dry cleaning it. You can just wash it. Um, treat it like you will when it's a finished garment. Okay. So you can wash it in cold and tumble dry. Okay, cutting method. You wanna use a rotary cutter. Uh, you want to use pattern weights if you have it. If you are gonna use pins, make sure that they are sharp pins and you want to use them within the seam allowance basically, okay? Um, because it may leave holes. So you don't, so you don't wanna put that uh, within the main portions of your garment okay marking tools and techniques um, you can use chalk tailors tacks you can even use um, marking pens but again if you use the marking pens do that within uh, the seam allowance um, if possible 
ironing tips uh, you know we don't want to iron the the fabric itself meaning moving it back and forth because that would stretch out the garment you want to press it um, so just hold it up and down and not even really hold it lightly <laughs> put it on your fabric okay um, but do not like press hard on it but you just don't want to move it back and forth the iron back and forth you want to put it on the cotton setting and you can use lots of steam okay uh, seam finishing finishes and hemming for your seam finish um, because this fabric does tend to unravel you want to do either your zigzag or um, use your serger on your raw edges if you have that available uh, for hemming um, you want to do a narrow hem because it is a lightweight fabric you want to keep you know the bulk down so you don't want to put a lot of bulk on your hem so go ahead and do a narrow hem um, on any hems <laughs> that you have uh, any special trip tricks for cutting and sewing okay so you can stiffen up the fabric you know when you sew you can stiffen up where you're going to sew um, by using spray starch um, and then once you wash it it'll just go back to you know it's regular um, weight you know and it won't be stiff um, and again I already mentioned you know if you're going to use pens um, put those within the seam allowance uh, this is for cutting and sewing put that within that seam allowance so the holes do not show if there will be holes it may or may not be um, but just in case there are put it within the seam allowance um, you want to most definitely stabilize any cuts that you did on the bias so that's your neckline around your neck if you have um, a diagonal seam like some necklines like a surplus is a is a, almost like a diagonal um think of a wrap dress that neckline um you want to you want to stabilize that so it doesn't stretch out um arm holes anything that can stretch because this type of fabric um does tend to stretch so you want to give that some stability so you want to stabilize those um, areas so you can stabilize it either with stay stitching okay just be careful that when you stay stitch that you don't pull you know on the fabric um, or a, an alternative is to use very lightweight fusible interfacing okay um, then you can cut the strips down um, you know to whatever the width you want you know a half an inch an inch whatever whatever it is that you want you can cut cut the strips down to that but you want to most definitely use a very lightweight fusible um interfacing interfacing and a woven interface because this is a woven um fabric okay so this concludes your pattern spotlight on gauze fabric Take care, everybody, and have a great day, and happy sewing. If you made this pattern or intend to, or, or if you're going to follow along with me, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks again for watching, and happy sewing.